Uh, regular legs, usually use the other light legs or whatever, which look a bit more like that. A bit more heavy duty. Um, they even so these should last because these instruments aren't particularly heavy. Um, so I'll unclamp all three, pull them up, try and get that horizontal. Now we're levelling, it'll be up here, because the level instrument's short. But the other lights, they're actually quite deep instruments, you only need it up to about the bottom of your ribcage kind of thing. Um, Obviously work out which short is in your group and whatever and set it so everyone can have a go. I'll just show you instruments on here. So that this is a di uh, digital theodolite. So it doesn't do distance, it just does uh, angles. Um, that's your telescope of course there. Don't look at the sun through that, it'll blind you. That should, <laughs> should be fairly obvious. Um, I'll just show you here, there are two sets of bubbles, I'll just come around and show you. You can see there, there's a bullseye bubble that's like a, a level, I'm trying to get a shot of that on camera. There you go, there you go. And, uh, so there's that bullseye bubble there, but there's another bubble, a spirit level bubble if you like, a long bubble there. So I'll show you that. Look at that bubble, that down there. There you go. Um, now, when we fix this on, try and line it up of course with that shape. If you get it cranked on, what you do is it's different to setting up a level. With a level you use these thumb screws to set, you know that little bullseye bubble. With these you don't. You basically, well you can, but the way to do it really, that bubble there is on this side. If you want to come over with the camera just to make it easier, if everyone comes in a bit anyway. I'll close this box so it will get full of rubbish and leaves and that and rain if it were raining. I have to slide these legs up and down so that, that bubble goes in the middle. Right, now at the minute, that bubble's way over that way. So I'm going to slide that leg up. The bubble's pointing to the high, the high leg if you like. I've just moved it round and now it's on that leg. So if I drop, the bubble's really where Charlotte is really. So if I drop this leg down, it'll come over to me. Now it's in line with this leg. I'll show you in future how to set this up over a specific point. This is just the basics. So you have to move this gentle. These instruments can be quite heavy, especially total stations. If you just look, uh, hopefully I've got a tripod that doesn't slide, but if you just get yourself on that bubble, just have a shot. It might be hard to pick up on the camera. Even so, that's in or thereabouts in. Um, what you do next, you see that long bubble that I've shown you before? Just line it up with any two thumb screws, right, either two, and you have to do both thumbs in or out and get it so it's in the middle. These are so sensitive, you only just touch it a little and it just flies across. Right, that's in the middle that way. You might want to be around this side actually. Really. So you can see the bubble there, they do fly around. Once it's in the middle that way, turn it 90 degrees, so it's only in line with one thumb screw, and then just do it on one on its own. So you'll move the thumb screw up or down. It's a shame that it's in the uh, shade. Now what that's done is, um, there are telescopes on this, that show you straight down underneath. That's for when you're setting up over a point. We're not doing that just yet, but that's something in future we'll look at. These obviously then, um, that's your eye, your crosshair. That'll focus your crosshair, your black cross. That'll focus what you're looking at. These have got a much further range than levels, a lot further. Um, I suppose that's as far as we need to go today. While the camera's rolling, there's a clamp there that means it won't let you turn it horizontally and then that lets you turn it really finely horizontally. I'll unclamp it. There's another clamp there that you lock it that won't move vertically and that moves up and down vertically really slowly. And then you unclamp it to move it properly. So there's there's a way there, if you look there, that big and will clamp it. Sometimes it's a paddle or whatever, but that's clamped now. It won't move unless I move that fine adjuster, which will be moving left and right. Or I unclamp it and it's full to rotate. So if, you have it, if yours isn't moving, it should be unclamped. Um, yeah, so it's a case of get your legs sliding around, get your bullseye bubble in the middle, line this up with any two thumb screws, get that in the middle. I think this leg might be slipping a little bit actually, which is why I brought out a spare set. Um, 
get that in the middle, <coughs> turn it 90 degrees so that'll be in line with your two thumb screws. Just do it on one of them and then spin it back around. You'll, you'll notice that once you turn it and let it settle, it'll still be level and that gives you a fully horizontal uh, plane to work from. And then you can have a look through and focus it and, and all that kind of stuff. Thanks.